So today I'm going to show you how to make one of these lighting animations and it's very simple and it's usually used as the beginning to reveal a product and the type of contours it has. So I am in a completely dark scene, I've removed the HDRI and everything else and I will simply bring in an area light. I will then rotate this with minus 90 degrees and move it backwards and scale it upwards as well. If we then increase the exposure, we can already see that the side of this project is being lit. Now, if you want to have less on these sides, you can scale it on the x-axis. But if you want more, you can scale it to the other side on the x-axis. I'm going to keep it somewhat in the middle. And I think this reveals the contours of the product good enough. So I'm going to use this light and start from the bottom. So right over here. You can also start from the top, do whatever you like. I'm going to press I and I'm also going to press I on the power. And then I will go to frame 72 because it's a pretty slow animation. It's going to be three seconds. And then I will G and Z and move this all the way over here. Press I. And then I will set the power to zero and we'll press I. So now we will have a lighting animation showing the contours like this. Now, if you want, you can select all of this, press D and make it linear. And that will make sure that it's a bit more consistent in the way it shows. So usually these kind of animations are followed up with a very similar animation, but from a different angle. Uh, so what we could do is go to frame 73, 73, increase the amount right here. And I'm simply going to add a new camera. Shift A, camera, view, cameras, set active object as camera. And then right here in the timeline, I will press control B and this will make camera 001 our camera from frame 73 onwards. I'm going to set this to one, click on our previous camera, which is this one, go to frame one and click on control B. So now we have camera and then camera 001 from frame 73. So first we have this animation, pop, and then it's going into the other camera, which is camera 00. So let's select it somewhere over there, perhaps. Let's increase the focal length to make it very zoomed in. And then I will add another area light and I will place this light somewhere over here, perhaps. Let's have a look from the camera and make it do something like that. That could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. So right here, I will make sure that our lighting is placed on this area, press I. Then I'll go ahead a couple of frames. I don't know where, maybe some like uh, 103. And I will simply move this light towards this side and press I. And let's have a look. Play this. Ah, it's a bit too fast. So uh, we can definitely extend this. Let's select all of this, make it linear. Let's make it star from frame 73 just like our camera. And what I will do is select that light, set the power to zero, then in the middle, it should be 10 or whatever you like. Press I and then on the end, it should be zero again. So in that fashion, we will get a cool whew, reveal animation like that. So there we have the contours and then we have our other little lighting animation doing its thing. You could also do like a camera animation here, do whatever you like. I'm just simply showing you the technique in order to make these lighting animations like so. So this is the contours. Then we have one of those lights that's coming in and showing the logo. So I hope you learned a lot. If you are interested in upgrading your lighting game, then I highly recommend checking out the King of Light in the description. And for the next video, we are going to be creating this. So click here to watch it now.